Hi everybody. I've talked in videos and on social media about enjoying stuff while you can, not to take life for granted. As most of you know, I don't like the changes to baseball, don't like the forthcoming changes to college football, maybe forthcoming changes to college basketball as well, then much more serious issues like the way COVID-19 changed most everybody's life for over a year and took hundreds of thousands of lives, how mass shootings continue to change lives. And then just a few days ago, I got another sad reminder of just how precious life is. This is Brady Hose, a Dakota Ridge senior and a current baseball player. Well, was a current baseball player. Brady died unexpectedly just a few days ago, late Thursday night, early Friday morning. I have been told it was a medical issue in his sleep. I've had it further confirmed it was a seizure that killed Brady. 17 years old. Just a senior in high school when he's gone, just like that. Some personal thoughts about Brady. Just last Wednesday... I saw him pitch in a game against Rocky Mountain, and Rocky Mountain is a loaded team, could very well contend for a state championship this year, maybe even win it. And Dakota was getting beat handily, and Brady came on to pitch, and I think it'd be common for a pitcher, someone in that position of losing badly to just kind of give up, let Rocky Mountain... Mercy rule it and be done with it. Brady didn't do that. He kept Rocky Mountain in check, and while Rocky Mountain still won 9-3, to Brady didn't give up. And I certainly admire him for that, for pitching well and keeping the game going. And that was less than 48 hours before he died. It scares me to even think about that part of it. I didn't know Brady very well, and not because of any animosity or anything like that. It's just he was playing baseball, I was announcing it. We have a big age difference between us, and I'm not an in-the-building person. I'm not a faculty member or anything like that. I didn't get to see him that much. Just the way it was, but still I certainly respected Brady, and I do remember one time I did get to meet with him a little bit. He and his mom were talking about... Stuff he could do, stuff he couldn't do, high school stuff. But he ended the conversation by giving his mother, named Teresa, a hug. And that's certainly not something I've seen from all teenagers I've run into. So I thought that was really cool that he gave his mom, Teresa, a hug. And by all accounts, Brady, a fine person. Very easy to get along with. And then I'll go back to Brady's mom. Certainly a terrific young, a terrific woman. Terrific young woman. Always makes sure she feeds me. Every time I announce a game at Dakota Ridge, she always saves something for me that's above and beyond the call of duty. And if Brady picked up any of that from his mom, he's all the better he was and all the better person for that. And of course, I'll tie myself into this in another way. On Saturday afternoon, I was doing, I was announcing a softball doubleheader at Regis University. And after the first game, Regis had just beaten CCU, Colorado Christian University. That ended CCU's 34-game win streak. And I used to work at CCU, by the way. I used to call games for them as a sub in 2021, but that's beside the point. So Regis wins the game. Everyone in the box is delirious. Everybody's very happy about it. And I just go to social media just as a habit of mine in between games just to see what new was going on. And I see Forever in Our Hearts talking about Brady, and I thought, what? I didn't think it was possible that he had died, and then I look at comments, and sure enough, he had. And I thought it might have been something else. Then when I learned he died in his sleep and of the seizure, just blew me away, mind-boggling to me. 
And during the second game of the Regis softball doubleheader, I was shaky. I, I had a tough time getting through that, but thanks to a grand assistant named Katie Yamas, another grand assistant, Billy Saunders, and a work study named Camilla, I didn't make a ton of mistakes. I really only made the mistake of goofing up the Regis batting order once, but other than that, everything went fine, and that was thanks in no small part to Katie, Billy, and Camilla. A couple other work studies in the box as well who kept me going, and I am appreciative of that. And I thought about something else, too. I know this is unrelated, but when I was a much younger man, I had girl heartbreak, I had person heartbreak, I had the suicide in the family. The 9-11 terrorist attacks happened in New York, Washington, D.C., and another one thwarted in Pennsylvania. And I wasn't exactly in the best of shape then. Not that I'm in the best of shape now, but back then. Wasn't in good shape either, and I wonder how I get through that. But I guess because I was young, I did. But of course, Brady was very young, and all of a sudden gone just like that. A friend of mine who I very rarely seen get emotional admitted he shed lots of tears, said he coached him, coached Brady since he was eight. I can only imagine how tough it is for the players, for the coaches, for Brady's mom, his brother, and the rest of his family. But Brady Hose, fine player by all accounts, a fine person, gone at the age of 17. I thank you for tuning in. And like I've said before, don't take anything for granted. Enjoy life while you can, and give your significant other, your friends, your family, hugs, handshakes, fist bumps, whatever they prefer, because you never know when you'll get that opportunity again. I know that's a sick thought, but that's just the truth. I'll talk to you down the road, probably have some more videos later this month. Till then, take care, everyone. Goodbye, Brady.